yeah, anyway, if you're uh, like I am, I uh, was too cheap to buy some cat toys because they're just too expensive. So uh, what I did was uh, decided to make my own. And I figured out a real easy way to make something. Um, start off with uh, some parachute cord, uh, just some real heavy duty cord if you want, or some shoestring, something like that. You just need quite a few feet of it. And then some miscellaneous feathers, a plastic valve stem cap for your, like a car tire or bicycle tire. You can get a whole pack of them for, I don't know, a couple bucks maybe. And then some two-part epoxy. I like this stuff because uh, it's a little individual use and I can make a couple out of it. Anyway, what you do, start off with is you drill a small hole in your valve stem cap. And then what you want to do is tie a knot in the end of your cord and run it through so the knot is inside the valve stem cap. Once you got the knot in there and the cord hanging out the back end, uh, a couple feet of it, then mix up some two-part epoxy and then carefully put some down inside the hole to fill it up. That'll hold your cord in place. Then, while the epoxy is still wet, take your feathers and arrange them inside there. Just stick them in the epoxy, like so, and uh, just whatever, as many feathers as you want, and the epoxy hold them in there. Um, they'll kind of sag at first, so if you want to wait a couple minutes before it starts to harden up, um, just uh, so it'll be a little more stiffer and uh, then you can stick them in there. Be careful with it because it will make a mess and it will stick to anything that you get it on. If you get it on your skin, it will come off, but it's kind of annoying. Then, once everything's hardened, you will have something that looks like this. And it'll be just a valve stem cap with a bunch of feathers hanging out. And then a very long string. I think I have almost two feet hanging off this one. And then, so, you don't have to just hang on to the string if you don't want. What I like to do is, uh, well, what I did with mine is uh, I took the antenna off my neighbor's car and tied it on the end of there. Um, if you get the one with the ball on the end, it makes it easy. I'll show you one of those. Oh, uh, I forgot to say the uh, easiest place to get feathers, um, just walking around. Uh, finding feathers, you know, in the woody areas. The easiest place I found is the uh, zoo, actually. Um, my daughter and I go to the zoo, and uh, this is like a peacock feather. This is off an owl. This one, this big black one's a condor. I don't expect you to make something out of that because they're quite large. Um, but the flamingo feathers um, and like dove feathers and stuff like that are really easy to come by, and uh, they make a really good size for them. And then uh, kind of whatever you find laying around your yard, I guess. Uh, I didn't actually take the antenna off my neighbor's car either, that was a joke. Just kidding. Um, that was from the junkyard. But, it seemed to work out for me. So, don't get me in trouble or nothing. So, when you're all done, the end product kind of looks like this. Um, this one I put a little tape just to hold the string in place. And then down at the end is a matted bunch of feathers because the cats have been playing with this one. Really enjoys it. I only break it out for about once a week. But just took a car antenna. Uh, you don't have to use a car antenna, obviously. You can get a stick out of the woods or get a doll rod from the uh, hardware store. But this one was easy to get, and it's got really good flicky action, and the cat just goes nuts over it. So after this, I'll put a video of uh, the cat playing with it. So easy little cat toy. Cost me, I don't know, a couple cents to make, and uh, lasts a long time. Also, the cool thing about this is when you're all done, when the cat destroys the feathers, you just clip it right here above it, and then take your another, next valve stem cap, drill a hole in it, run the cord through it, tie a little knot, and then you're ready to go. And you can just leave all that cord on there tied up to the thing. So basically all you lose is just what's here at the very end, and then you can put your next one on there. So you can make a, have a bunch of them out of the same, same material, and uh, it's real cheap and easy to make. So, this was just an extra one that I made because I had the extra epoxy. Um, and uh, anyway, so go ahead and make one yourself. They're real easy.